Welcome back to another video. So you may have read the title and you're thinking, okay, you're asking me to buy vacation stocks. Why should I buy vacation stocks when some states are slowly closing and some bars are being closed when the pandemic isn't even doing that well so far and the curve isn't really being flattened here in the US? Why should I be buying vacation stocks? Well, it's going to be a once in a lifetime chance to actually buy because so far you probably won't be seeing a pandemic like this for a while. I mean, pandemics like these usually happen once every several years. And even in those smaller pandemics, we all remember back then a few years ago, you got like the other weird flu stuff that never really dropped the airline stocks, the cruise stocks that much. Only this pandemic has the airline and cruising industry dropped this much. And this is honestly a once in a lifetime opportunity to actually get, for example, Delta Airlines at 50% off. Currently, airlines and cruises have halted their dividends, which also contribute to the giant drop of the overall stock. I mean, this thing was at $58. Now it's at $27. If $27 recovers to $58, you're looking at a really, really sweet gain of like 100%. That's something you don't get really often. You clearly see there have been a lot of people buying airlines and cruises because frankly, they're just so cheap and they're one of the most popular stocks on Robinhood. And so far, if you check out other guys out there like Jets, which is like the ETF for airlines, if you guys are pretty paranoid about airlines and if they're going to bankrupt, then might as well get Jets. I mean, this is like an ETF filled with like a bunch of airlines and stuff like that. Then you got the cruises, which I also love. I fully think that cruises, you won't be getting a, you know, a price like this ever again because $15 for Carnival, it used to be like $50, $49 at least $42 in my opinion. And so far, this is one of the biggest cruising industries out there. They take about the 50% of the cruising stake around the world. And they're one of the biggest cruise lines in the world. You also have Saudi Arabia back in it as well. It's going to be one of those times where you won't really be getting prices like these ever again. Now, I've heard a lot of stories about, oh man, don't you know that airlines and cruises might go bankrupt? There is a chance, but keep in mind that Norwegian, RCO and also CCO right here, they're so big to the point that it's very hard for them to fail. The cruises that have actually went bankrupt are the really small cruise lines that only have a few ships. These guys have a ton of ships. More ships they could count on your, both of your hands and both of your feet. And if you look at the airlines, yes, airlines are burning through a lot of cash, but keep in mind that they're most likely not going bankrupt because of the TSA numbers. Now, if the TSA numbers are absolutely garbage, like back in April where it's like under 100,000 people through TSA checkpoints a day, then I'll say, okay, maybe we'll have a couple airlines out there that might go bankrupt. Maybe American Airlines might go bankrupt. Maybe Spear Airlines might go bankrupt. But you also have the very healthy airlines like Delta, Southwest, and also maybe even United that are pretty decent. But now the TSA numbers being so high, like almost a million people, like half a million to 750,000 people. That's a good amount of people going to TSA checkpoints. Now, of course, comparing it to last year, 2019, it's absolutely garbage. Like if you compare it, it's like 2.7, 2.5, 2.4 million people. Obviously, you can't really compare that with last year's numbers. But just comparing this month's numbers to April's numbers, it's way better. And airlines have reported burning about 20% less cash compared to April. This is good news. You also have American Airlines even coming out and speaking how bankruptcy isn't even an option. They're not going to bankrupt. Delta Airlines, for example, has not said anything about bankruptcy. Keep in mind that if you really think all the airlines are going to be going bankrupt, you must be delusional because the hospitality industry that revolves around airlines and the people that work at airlines contributes to a large portion of the U.S. job market. I highly doubt the government would just let airlines just go bankrupt and die. And plus, we all fly. How are you supposed to get to Europe, Mexico, or China? Like, are you going to swim or walk there or are you going to use a jet pack? Probably not. You're going to have to fly in an airplane. This is why airplane stocks have been so popular because so many people know that they won't be getting another chance at this. This is a super cheap price. If you check out TD Ameritrade, this is pretty much my account so far. It's not looking really that hot, especially I'm down like, you know, maybe 70 bucks or something like that. But so far, I do have a lot of airline stocks and I currently may be getting some cruise stocks. I'm not really sure about that. But airlines, in my opinion, will be the fastest vacation industry stock that will be recovered. Currently, it's way oversold. 
it's been like this for a very long time. I will be telling you guys why this time could be a little bit different and we will be seeing another moonshot up. I have United, I have American Airlines, and also Delta Airlines, and that's about it. And these are probably my airline stocks right now. I do have a ton of United Airlines, pretty much $1,000 worth, very little amounts of American Airlines. I do have 40 shares, but the reason I bought them is simply because when the airlines do start running up, American Airlines is like the crazy one that goes up the most. 30 shares of Delta, 30 shares of United. You get the idea. So one of the biggest reasons why is the vaccine. And so far, you do have a lot of vaccine news coming out. And I'm really, really certain that a lot of these vaccines will be very helpful, especially in the near future. Especially if you guys don't know, the person that's in charge of the AZN vaccine, if you guys don't know, AZN is like this pharmaceutical stock. She actually gave the vaccine to three of her kids, according to this article a few days ago. And I did talk about this on my Discord, and it's really, really crazy. And you also have so many vaccines. You got Moderna. You got Novavax. They're all making their own vaccines. You got AZN. You also have the UN trying to order vaccines for America. Johnson & Johnson are making vaccines. I mean, everyone is making vaccines. China is making vaccines. You know, United Kingdom is making vaccines. Germany is making vaccines. It's a really big deal. I mean, with all these different vaccines and also treatments coming out, things really do get better. And also, airlines are also implementing a bunch of masks so you don't actually screw up. And if one person is infected, not everyone will because everyone's wearing masks. Also, Carnival Cruises and also the cruising industry. The reason why I ask you guys to buy this is because they're in a huge dire situation or else the price wouldn't be this low. Currently, cruises are pushed back from August to September. American government just said no sale date for all of summer, which is a huge hit because summertime is literally their best earnings. You can clearly see right here for quarter two and quarter three. One of their best few quarters, they actually make the bulk of their money. And so far, they're losing a ton of cash. Now, if you guys are wondering if people even like cruises, keep in mind that a lot of people actually want to get on cruises. The cruises are not going away. They're one of the most inexpensive places to actually go and travel. If you want to go to the Bahamas, you could go like right now. You got to book a flight, get a hotel, get food. It's a major hassle. You got to do like the check-ins, the move-ins. You got to make sure your luggage is okay and secure. It's so much of that crap. Like People like cruises because the hotel, the fun, the trip itself is pretty dope, and it all floats with you. And also, cruise bookings jumped 600% after Carnival says it plans to resume selling. What does this mean? Well, people actually want cruises so bad that so many people have started booking them. The bookings jumped 600%. Same thing with RCO, same thing with Norwegian. And what does this mean? People still love cruises even with all this bad news about cruises. Now, if you're telling me that Carnival announces plans to resume selling and no one books cruises, then I would not recommend cruise stocks because the cruise industry then will be pretty trash and will have a very negative look to it. But since you do have so many people booking it, I mean, it's gonna be really good. Also, the vacation industry is slowly booming. If you guys haven't noticed, hotels are slowly being filled up and we will be seeing less of a cash burn for a lot of the vacation industry. So, so far, you have so many people just itching to actually go out and travel. You got road trips coming up. Things are looking better. There's record amounts of flights. If you just check out the TSA numbers, you would clearly see a, a slight increase. You would clearly see from the past several months, it's been a slow and steady increase of the amount of people going to TSA checkpoints. By the end of this month, I really do feel like we will be hitting maybe 800,000, 900,000, even a million people through TSA checkpoints. This is less of a cash burn for major airlines like Delta, United, American Airlines. And also, I really do think the vaccine news should be a huge thing for a lot of these vacation stocks. Now, if you look at the tech sector, if you look at the S&P sector, if you look at like the banks and stuff like that, They've all been doing pretty decent. Like tech especially has been hitting all-time highs like every single week. But the vacation industry like airlines and cruises, they're the last chance for you guys to actually make money if you miss the tending train for the NASDAQ. If you guys missed the buying opportunity when Tesla was $370, if you guys missed the opportunity to get Shopify or Apple, Microsoft, Amazon at that low point, if you missed it, you still have a chance to make money by buying cruises and airlines. I know these are not the best companies, and I really don't even you know care too much about these companies, but when there is a vaccine that is in mass production, when things get better, 
Airlines and cruises will be the stocks that go up the most. I've seen American Airlines go up 50% in a single day on some good news. And just think about it. These are going to be the stocks that really are the top movers. And if you guys have $1,000, I suggest you guys to put some in maybe Jets, the you know airline ETF, some in Carnival, some in RCL, some in Norwegian. Diversify. Don't put all your money in one because that's super risky. And so far, this is like my little ramp. This is why you should be buying vacation stocks. Long story short, they're just super cheap. I just can't tell you guys. I mean, some people say they might keep dipping. But they've dropped so much that the bone is like gone. It's so low. If you just go in and just wait a year, you're going to be making some money when the pandemic is over or the pandemic gets better. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and comment below.